In this video, we will learn how to create due work. Due work are tasks or assessments that can be graded and have due dates assigned. Due work can be used for both tasks you grade and tasks you don't want to grade, such as homework. Due work can be added to projects, units, or class pages. You can add a due work task to a unit when you're creating or modifying a course. Click on New Due Work. The first step in creating your new due work is to give the due work a title. Then select the type of due work. The options available to you are customised by your school, so you may see different options. In the description field, provide instructions or a description for the task. Here you can use all the functions of the text editor to format your text, add media, links, tables, and more. You can then attach any files. Use the drop-down menu to select if you'd like to accept submissions online and whether students can submit multiple times. The ability to submit multiple times could be used for drafting. Next, you can set the activity duration. The activity duration refers to how many days you expect the activity to go for within the project or a unit. So if you select two days, the due date for the activity will automatically be set to two days after you start the unit or project. The open and close dates for the unit are set when you import a course onto your class page. Enter the weighting of the work. If you assign a weight, the due work you are creating will contribute to the student's overall grade or the grade of the project the due work is contained in. If you select zero, the due work will not contribute to the student's overall grade or the project grade. This could be useful for things like homework tasks. Choose who you would like to view the results of the assessment. The audience will only see the results once they have been published. You can learn more about marking due work in the Schoolbox Teacher course or on Schoolbox Help. Select the way that you would like to grade the work. If you choose letter grade, you can select from the different grade groups set up by your school. These will vary from school to school. If you'd like to mark against a rubric, toggle on Mark Against Rubric. If you'd like to display a subtotal mark for each capability, you can also toggle on Mark Against Capability. You can learn more about creating rubrics in Schoolbox Help or on the Schoolbox Teacher course. If your school is using curriculum mapping, you can type curriculum codes into the curriculum code field. Then click Create. 